Shalom, shalom. It's your brother Wild Rumya back with another lesson. Lord, willing to be edifying. I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Wahra Kakadash, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah. Dub honors to the apostles, the elders, a great millstone who taught me this truth, and shalom to the 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children that will escape the judgments of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah. Just got another lesson, uh, always prophecy. Um, this guy pretty much goes into what the apostles and elders of Great Millstone been prophesying about for almost up to 40 years now. And now the 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 heathen in the two-thirds are starting to see what the, the, the apostles and the elders and the men of the Lord have been prophesying to come and how it's going to come. And this guy's going to go into it. It's six minutes long. I don't think I'm going to play all of it, but let's get to it. World War III Predictions, Volume 3, America Will Be Invaded. I said that Russia would win in Ukraine and that the most important success of that war for them was to drain our resources, which they did. I told you that South America would turn on the U.S. and start allowing our enemies entry into their ports and start building up resources, soldiers, and more. And remember that I said nine months ago that Israel would become the prime target of the Eastern powers, and that Russia and China would find their path to Israel through their allies in Eastern Europe and the Middle East, which they've done. So what's next on the table? Folks, there was a lot of people who were in absolute denial when I made those first prediction videos, saying that America is so powerful they could never be defeated. They're like one in like 187 or 192 countries, and 80% of the countries absolutely can't stand our guts because we've become a global terror. America is Babylon. We've done absolutely dreadful things. Just in the past, like, 20 years, we've killed millions of innocent civilians for imperialistic and colonialistic goals. Gaddafi in Libya was one of the greatest leaders in modern history. He was a saint to his people, and we slaughtered him in the streets because he was no longer going to purchase oil in U.S. dollars. Amongst other things, like taking care of his own people, making Africa and the Middle East strong. Anyways, you have, we're the baddies. We're the bad guys. And people just aren't getting this. The entire world is surrounding us. We will be invaded, and we will be destroyed. And we need to be. And I'm not rooting for it in some sick nihilistic way. We are a problem. We hurt millions and millions of people every year with our policies, with our bad economics, with our greed, with our violence, with our fear and paranoia, and we can't be bargained with. When the Soviet Union fell, we made a promise we wouldn't move NATO to the east. That's all we've done since. We break all of our promises. We violate the sovereignty of any country for any reason. I mean, we did it in South America because we wanted their bananas. This isn't a joke. So here's what's going to happen next. What's happening in the Middle East? Yeah, um, that's going to pick up really quick. And the one country that's at odds with all the other countries, let's just do the math, folks. Once that country falls, I'm not even allowed to say the name of the country because I'll be called an anti-Semite. Like, I could literally say every other country in the world and say if they're going to win or lose a war. But if I say that country loses a war, I'll be called a name and be called a bigot. Anyways, that country's going to fall, okay? Another thing, military bases are being attacked right now. Do you understand what that means? Military bases don't get attacked. We're being surrounded right now. And there's been several attacks inside of the country from our enemies that they try to make you think are domestic attacks. They're not going to tell you that we're being invaded. They're not going to tell you that we're being attacked. They're not going to tell you if we're about to be nuked. America doesn't care. It's a psychopathic rabid animal in the corner that knows it's going to lose, but does not have the decency or humility to surrender and apologize and pay for its crimes in a way where it doesn't have to go down in flames. We are being occupied. We are hostages in this situation. And we better pray that the enemies of our country have more mercy than we've had on the entire world. All right, so like I said, the dominoes are going to topple really fast from this point. Once that country gets taken out, Syria, Iran, Iraq are going to be military bases for Russia and China. Turkey is going to do a full alliance with Russia, China, and all the other countries that support the East. 
at which point Europe will be given an ultimatum. Stand down or be obliterated. And then there's going to be some very interesting things that happen with Switzerland. Mark my words. Because Switzerland is the seat of the devil. Because Switzerland is the seat of power for the West. But they can't get to Switzerland until they get through a couple of their bodyguards in the Middle East and Eastern Europe. Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, Australia. Unfortunately, because there's a giant ocean between you and us, and we're the reason that you guys get things like free health care, you're going to be absorbed. We can't get to you fast enough. We're going to be fighting a war on the southern border. We're going to be scrambling all of our nuclear readiness aircraft and submarines to protect ourselves from the Poseidon missile that can create a tsunami on the East Coast. We're going to be fully staffed in Cheyenne Mountain, making sure an ICBM does not hit Yellowstone and activate the supervolcano. This war can go one of four ways, okay? One is that all this is just a theater thing. And Revelations is really the thing they're trying to pull off. Like, so it'll get really crazy over in the Middle East and all of a sudden the Antichrist will show up and they'll sign a great peace deal and it'll be beautiful. And then, you know, we're just in a game. <coughs> Does nothing matters because they're going to play the stupid game. In the real world, in the realist perspective, America will be invaded. You might say it's going to take 10 years. You might say it's going to take five years. But pr I promise you, it can happen in two years. Now, in that scenario, America can either fight to the death or surrender and, and hold the right people accountable, right? Like the people who vouched for Gaddafi's murder, uh, the people that vouched for Assad's um, assassination attempt, these types of people. Put those people out there and hold them responsible. So the arrest of the innocent Americans who, especially the ones that were trying to speak up about this, they can be spared. We can be given mercy. We had no control of the situation, and we did what we could to try to speak out about it and stop it. And another scenario is the people rise up organized and demand peace because no one fights, no one hits the red buttons, no one pulls the trigger because we're done with this shit, because we know Atlantis can exist, and we're ready to have it. Yeah, as you see it, man, a lot of people are starting to get scared of what's coming, man. And uh, I, I want to continue by, first I want to continue by saying fair use, fair use. These videos are used for, not only for educational purposes only, fair use, fair use, educational purposes only. These are satire videos just for educational purposes only, not used for any financial benefits. But basically, as, as you've seen, man, the guy was, he, he's getting scary, man. In the spirit of how about Shimmy Alshon started to move on these people, he started to have dreams of the end times, man. Are those missiles being shot off? And as we continue to get closer and closer, the warning is out there, man. And uh, as the uh, as the FBI had uh, presented this to Congress a couple of weeks back about uh, increasing cyber attacks and increasing uh, t attacks on America, man. And pretty much, I think it's in Europe as well, man. So we in the times, man. These people are starting to get fearful. But the the how about Shemi Alshai is putting the spirit. Of his, of his people, the elect of his people, the Israelites, you blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans that make up the ch children of Israel, the elect of the children of Israel, we put on our, he put on our spirits to seek him. In these trying times, we, we, the Lord put on our spirit to seek you. How about Shemmy Shai, man? Let's get to this video. Y'all, I thought 2024 was going to be better than 2023, 2022, 2021, and 2020. When I tell you... Then it's not, and this shit just gonna keep continuing into 2024. Look at what I found, y'all. I wanted to know what the DEF CON level was for the entire world. So here's the levels. USA is level two. Asia is level two. Europe is level two. Space and nuclear is level three, which is in the middle. Africa is level two. Special ops is level two. And the overall level is three. So I wanted to see why everybody was on a level two, and it's because of the FBI director's warning. So y'all, this is legit, like for real, for real. Like this sleeper cell situation and everything that's going on right now is legit. Lord have mercy on us all. That's all I can say. This is insane. Y'all, it's 2023. Why are we having to worry about this? Why? We're going to go into another year. So this tells me right now that 2024 is going to be... The fourth year in a row on some bullshit.
Just when I thought 2024 was going to be better, this shit going to be worse. Good Lord Almighty. Can we catch a break? Yeah, so the elect will be protected, man. But you have to keep your, you keep continue to keep your head on the swivel, man, because your children is out there, your your, your wife or your, your husband is out there. So you got to keep your head on the swivel, man. And be prepared that 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 you will know, you know what I'm saying? You'll you be aware of your surroundings because these devils want to bring his NWO in, man. And as you see yesterday, that cyber attack on Babylon the Great, man. Now check this out. This is pretty much what they did, what China did with the cyber attack, man. Getting themselves prepared to attack Babylon the Great. Let's play this. Update you guys on the cybersecurity situation. So yesterday, a number of uh, internet providers and uh, cable companies, uh, cell phone companies, all got hit by uh, some kind of cyber attack. Also, social media platforms, Rumble, uh, Facebook, um, Comcast, Frontier, Spectrum, um, they all got hit with some kind of cyber attack yesterday. And uh, we also had major breaking news come out yesterday uh, from uh, various sources inside of the U.S. government that China has been uh, trying to gain access to our critical infrastructure and uh, they, they're doing it through cyberspace. They're creating back doors into our critical infrastructure in the event of some kind of a war with the U.S. They would basically be able to uh, shut down our critical infrastructure and destroy it. Okay, we're talking about power plants, dams, pipelines, and the director of national intelligence here in the U.S. confirmed that China's already done that. Okay, he confirmed it yesterday that they've already built back doors into all of our critical infrastructure. That is very, very concerning, guys. So there you have it, man. We've been warning you and warning you to seek your how about Shemi Al Shah. I'm not gonna play this one, man. I I, I think they'll flag this one. But uh, you go on his site and on YouTube and, and watch that video. But as you know, um, these things are already put in, put in place, man. The backdoor <laughs> cyber attacks and all this shit, man, it's already been prepared, man. We're pretty much we're waiting on you. How about Shemi Al Shah to put it on the spirits? But then to make a move, man. And all hell's gonna break loose. Let's start with this. This is Ecclesiasticus 2. And I'm gonna start at verse 13. It says, Woe unto him that is faint hearted, man. Weak in the mind, weak in the spirit, man. It says, For he, for uh, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be delivered, defended. So lock you. So you we can't be weak in his faith, man. The Lord gave us a spirit. To be firm in this truth, man. Believe in and having faith, man. This this truth is 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 is, is what, they, what they say. The young boy, uh, young guys now say you got to stand on business, man. And we're standing on business, man. We're standing on the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. So we're not fearful of the things that's coming, man, because the Lord prepared us through the Spirit to be prepared, man. That's why we seek to seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah when we first woke up to the truth. We we stayed into it, man. So the Lord, we are not faint-hearted, man, because we continue to, to seek you how about Shemiah was shot, man. It says, Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when you how about Shemiah was shot shall visit, visit you? So what, what are these people going to do when they had time to get this truth, man? It's understanding of you how about Shemiah was shot, man. Everything is going to be done by the hands and power of you how about Shemiah was shot. Nobody's going to do, they, they, uh, the elite are not going to do anything without the Lord bringing it, put it on his spirit to do, man. But the elect is going to be prepared, man, mentally and spiritually for the times we're going into, man. The times of Jacob's trouble, the time of all hell breaking loose, man. But if you haven't seek your by Shem Yahweh Shah, what, what you going to do when, it, when he visits, man? When you put off this truth, man. It says, they that fear your how about Shem Yahweh Shah will not disobey his word. See that? The men of the Lord and the women of the Lord would not disobey his word, man. He gave us a spirit of his truth and to stick with it, man. Continue to grow in it. He says, and they that love him will keep his ways, man. And we're keeping his ways through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Seeking him daily, man. He says, they that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah will seek that which is well, pleasing unto him. And that's what we continue to do, man. Trying to please the Lord, man. To the best of our ability, man. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah 
will prepare their hearts. And that's what we're doing. We're preparing our hearts for the evil times that's coming, man. And you already know the scenarios, man. A lot of people are going to be put to death out here, man. And humble their souls in his sight. And we humble ourselves to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Seeking him constantly, man. Trying to get the information from this word, man. Because everything that's happened in the physical is ha has happened already in the word, man. It's happened already in the word. We're reading about this movie that we're playing in, man. It says, saying, we will fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai and not into the hands of man. See that? We know the Lord controls everything, man. We want to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man, and not the hands of man. Which two-thirds of our people are going to fall into the hands of man, man. Because they didn't seek Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. They disobeyed his word. It says, saying, we will fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai and not into the hands of men. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy, man. And we want to, we want to fall into the hands of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. Two-thirds of our people, they, they seeking this kingdom, this passing away, man. Seeking out their their oppressor. Well, we are seeking out the how about Shem Yahushai, man. To the end. This is uh Zephaniah. Uh let's two. Let me start at verse one. It says, Zephaniah 2, verse 1. It says, hold on, let me get that out of the way. He says, Gather yourselves together. Ye gather your gather together, O nation not desired. Before the decree bring forth, before the day passes as a, as chaff, as the chaff, before the furious anger of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai come upon you, before the day of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai's anger come upon you, man. And we just read, we just read when he visits, man. What you gonna do when he visits, man? And that's why we continue to preach to our people, repent, man. The Lord's fierce anger is coming, man. And nobody's gonna be able to turn it back, man. Esau is not going to be able to make a peace deal with the Lord, man. He's not going to be able to make a peace de deal with the heathens, man. Three, it says, Seek ye, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, all ye meek of the earth, you elect, which they already elect. I meant to say, you Israelites, man. Seek Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. It says, All ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his, ju his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua's anger, man. Seek the Lord, man, while he may be found, man. And that's what we continue to repent, uh, re repeat in these lessons, man. Re man. Seek the Lord, man. And your spirit continues to grow, man, when you seek Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. It continues to grow, man. You feel good about seeking the Lord, man. You want to get lessons. You want to, you know, inquire about the Lord's judgments so you be prepared man so we, we continue to do the will of Yahweh by shim yahushah man we'll be hid in the day of his wrath man this is psalms 105 and i'm gonna start at verse uh start at verse uh one it says oh thanks unto Yahweh by shim yahushah call upon his name make known his deeds among the people and that's what we're doing man we're calling on the name the true name of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, and we make it known his deeds to the people, man. It says, saying unto him, saying psalms unto him, talk ye of all his wondrous works, man. We're telling you, man, the Lord is going to come with great fierce anger, man. Seek the Lord. It says, glory ye in his glory in his holy name. His holy name is Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, man. It ain't Most High Christ blessed. It ain't Jesus. It ain't Christ. It ain't Cesar Borgia. It ain't none of those names. It's Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Trust in them, they have faith in their name because it's the truth. He says, verse three, it says, glory ye in his holy name. And that's what we're doing, man. Glory in the Lord's holy name, man. He says, let the heart of them rejoice that seek Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. See that? That's what I just said, man. We seeking the Lord, man. And you, you, earn, you yearn to seek the Lord, man. Once you... Get up in the morning, you're like, man, well, you know what I'm saying? You want to you want to get, get a scripture, man. A scripture might come to mind. And you might meditate on that scripture all day long, man. And that's the and that's the blessing on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. He put the spirit on you to continue to seek him, man. Seek his word, man. 
Verse 4 says, Seek Yahweh by Shem Yahushah and his strength. Seek his face evermore, man. And that's, like I said, man, you get up in the morning, you, you quickly want to get a scripture, man. Or have a scripture you might have dreamed on and it might just come come to you be meditating on a scripture all day, man. This is the blessings of Yahweh by Shem Yahushah. Not no cause, not no clothes, not no house, not, you know, these materialistic things, money. No, man. When the Lord, you seek the Lord's face evermore, man. When you continue to seek him. It says, uh, verse five, it says, remember his marvelous works that he have done his wonders and, and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye, ye children of Jacob, his chosen, man. The Israelites are his chosen people, man. And you are supposed to seek him, man, because he is your power. Verse seven, it says, he is your power by Shem our power. His judgments are in all the earth, man. Everything is controlled and done by your by Shem Yahushua, man. <clears throat> Everything is done and controlled by your by Shem Yahushua. And he is our power. So if we seek in him, he'll have mercy on us, man. He'll have mercy on us. <clears throat> and that's the reason why the Lord is um, drawing near to us, man. To the elect for us to call on his name in the times, uh, the times we're headed into, man. You're not going to be running around with a Bible in your hand talking about uh, breaking down a scripture, man. We're coming to the times the Lord going to put a spirit on you. And the Bible, is uh, the scriptures that we knew is going to come to us, man. And that's why I was saying about meditating on scriptures, man. The Lord will put a scripture on you. You're going to know it, man. You're going to know it, man. But the name of the Lord is who we want. he wants to call on, want us to call on in a time of our need, man. Seeking the Lord, man. Seeking his face. Believing in his name. Knowing that the Lord will have mercy on you, man, and protect us, man. And uh, let's get this, man. This is pretty much the same thing we read in Psalms 105, but we're going to read it here in 1 Chronicles 16. We're going to start at verse 8 of Psalm. This is Psalm of David, man. It says, Give thanks unto you, how about Yahweh Shah. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. And that's what we just read in 105, Psalms 105. He says, Sing unto him. Sing Psalms unto him. It says, Talk ye of all his wonder, wonder, wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. See, our heart is going to rejoice for seeking him because we're going to see people getting judged out here and the Lord having mercy on us and we come out of the same situation and getting out of getting out of harm's way and our other people that, that, that didn't seek the Lord being judged, man. So we're gonna we're gonna be okay, man. This time is coming, man. We're gonna rejoice, man. He says, "Seek your how about Shem Yahushua in His strength. Seek His face continually, man. Continue to stay in these scriptures, man." He says, "Remember His wondrous, wonder, marvelous works that He have done, His wonders and the judgments of His mouth. O ye seed of Israel, His servant, ye children of Jacob, His chosen ones, man." See, we are his chosen ones, man. Only the elect know who the chosen ones are, man. The, only the chosen ones of Israel, man. Verse 14, he is Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, our power, man. Let his judgments are in all the earth, man. See, the Lord's judgment is on all the earth, man. When, when all these things have started to come to pass, we're going to notice the hand of the Lord, man. We're going to know this is the hand of the Lord. No, no other power... These these devils worship is going to be able to take credit for what's going to come on the earth, man. This is going to be the work of your how about Shem Yahushua, man. And the elect are going to know when this thing start to happen. We seek the Lord, man. So we know what's happening, what's coming down the pipeline. This is Psalms 27. And I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, Hear your how about Shem Yahushua when I cry. With my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. And that's what we're asking the Lord for. We're going to cry out, cry out to the Lord, man. We're going to cry out. To, let me read verse six. It says, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies, man. Because we're going to seek you how about Shimei al He's going to hear our voice, man. He says, around about me, therefore will I offer in his tabernacle, sacrifices of joy, man. See, the Lord is going to bless the elect to get out of harm's way, man. 
And we're going to pray and cry out to the day when you howl about Shimei was shot, man. Because he's, he's, he is the one that's going to have mercy on you. He says, I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto you how about Shem Shah. Hear, O you how about Shem Shah, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. And that's what we're asking the Lord to answer the elect, man, which I know he will because he said, seek him, man. And that's what we've done, man. We put aside the world and we seek the Lord, man, because he knows the Lord is faithful and true. His word is faithful and true. He says, when, when thou saidest, seek my face, my heart say unto thee, thy face, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh will I seek. And see, when the Lord told us to seek him, we turned to him, man. We had faith in that name. We believed in his, we believed in his apostles, his elders, and his men of the Lord, man. We believed in his word, in his, in his, his wisdom, and our understanding was open unto us. Verse 9, it says, Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O power of my salvation, man. See, the Lord is our salvation. That's the only ticket out of here, man. Is your how about Shem Shah, man? And continue to pray to the Lord, man. We all need to pray more. He says, When my father and my mother forsook, forsook me, then Yahweh by Shem Yahushua will take me up, man. So you, and it's just telling you, you're not going to be able to depend on your family and these people in the world, man, in the times that's coming, man. You're not going to be able to depend on these people, man. The only one you're going to be able to depend on is the Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. That's the only one you're going to be able to depend on. Because what's coming, man, is going to be a time like nothing ever before on the face of the earth, man. And your faith is truly going to be tested. But we seek the Lord, man. And the Lord is not going to turn his back on us, man. Let me read verse 8 again. Let me, matter of fact, let me get that in another translation just to make it even plain, man. New Living Translation says, My heart has heard you say, Come and talk with me. And my heart responded, Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, I am coming. And that's what our spirit has, man. When the Lord woke us up to the truth, he told us to seek him, and that's exactly what I exactly what we did through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Let me get down to the good news translation. It says, When you said, Come worship me, I answered, I will come, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And we all said that through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. We all couldn't wait to get it, get that word, man. When we heard and woke up, that light bulb clicked in your mind. You seek the Lord, man. You didn't. You didn't wait. You didn't procrastinate. As soon as you heard it, you click. Boom! I'm, I'm in it. That's that's my spirit. That was on me. So I said, "The water y'all by Shimei was shot for blessing me with this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man." As out of all these Israelites, millions and millions of Israelites, and none of them, only two, only one third of those men and women, and you know, one hundred forty-four thousand had the opportunity for the Lord to even wake them up, man. And though they see us out there on the highways and byways, they see the lessons, they see all through social media what this thing is about, and they still haven't came to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shah, man? So count yourself as being blessed because his word has been blessed, been blessing us from the time we woke up to it. This is a Deuteronomy 4 and 29. It says, but if from thence... Thou shalt seek Yahweh by Shem Yahushua thy power. Thou shalt find him. See that? If you seek the Lord, you're going to find him, man. And that's exactly what happened to us, man. We can give our testimony of, of, of how we came into the truth. But two-thirds of our people can't, man. This light has truly been shining on the elect of the house of David, man. The house of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, man. It's been risen, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua. And everything is coming together just like the word said, man. 29 again, it says, But if from thence thou shalt seek Yahweh by Shem Yahweh thy power, thou shalt find him, if thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul, man. Woo! It says, When thou art in tribulation, check this out now, when, when thou art in tribulation and all these things are come upon thee, 
even in the latter days, talking about now, man, talking about now. He says, if thou turn to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh shall thy power and shall be obedient unto his voice. For Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh shall thy power is a merciful power. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers, which he swore unto them, man. See, the Lord is a merciful power, man. And if you turn to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh shall, man, while we got time, man. The Lord is, he can't lie, man. The Lord can't lie, man. He's bound by his word, man. So the Lord told us to seek him in our tribulation. When all hell breaking loose, man, we seeking Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, man. Gun in our face. Yahweh praise going on to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. And that's going to be the spirit that's going to be on us, man. So continue to believe in the name and power of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. It's not going to let us down, man. I'm going to end it there, man. Shalom.